I've always wondered. What did you witchers do once there are no... You're a you, dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keelhaul you! Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nilfgaardian dogs were to hunt us some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. A rate ask away in praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Ulver cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. What happened to Mork Varg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Friends. Heart, foes, we show our axe. Remember that. Gates open, but nothing's happening.
Things fell through the crevice years ago. There's moving here. Must be another cave above or a way out. Vark's face. Prints lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. face. Claw marks. Craven slammed the door in Morkvarg's face. The 
Greetings. Praise prayer. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morkvarg's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Horson should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. Might surprise you, but I couldn't care less what a lying murderer has to say. Compared to Morgvog, I'm a plowing saint. I've raided often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When, when it was over and Morkvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolf Fang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my da, who was god eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop-pop mentioned how to reverse this? Victim needs to get the fang is all, but I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. Listen, the priestesses, they really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. Want one thing in return. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. Once Morgfog's human again, you can't let him leave. No matter what. Key? Ramond? Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key? Where's the key? Why so silent, Ramond? You thief. You rogue. You... Horson? You worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! You cannot hide your stench. Time to end this. 
willing to talk now? Only now can I. Slash is the curse. <laughs> Makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. All but one. True. Treasure, <laughs> hid away, yours, <laughs> just <laughs> help me! <laughs> so, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay, <laughs> it's the worst, <laughs> not <laughs> the garden <laughs> to which I'm bound, even, <laughs> but <laughs> the hunger. <laughs> Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash, I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns my throat, throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Here, put this on. I need uh, no more fangs. Uh, Don't be a smartass, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh, oh. Where's the tavern? I could eat a broiled pig. <laughs> no, a side of beef. Uh, uh, wash it down with a cask of ale. Uh, then to see. <laughs> they forgot me, no doubt. <laughs> well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang in Novigrad everywhere. <laughs> I'm back. Fair winds and all, but before you go, my reward? Right. Nearly forgot. Happens often. Too often. Calm yourself. I'm a man of honor. Now listen. You'll go to Novigrad. To the bits. Find the vulture, the moneylender. Tell him Morkvark sends his regards. And you'll know me to be a generous man. Farewell then. The sea beckons. Ideal friend. Patient oh. doesn't mouth off.
with us one more week, Carisu. I know you feel You who grant us love, you're yet hatred too weak and to strength. embark on a journey. Thank you, but I don't want to overstay my welcome. Besides, it's time I went home. They must all think me dead there. Fret not. I'm certain they await you. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred and strength. Welcome to the Temple of Freya. I'm Kirisu. How can I help? You a novice? Because I'd never take you for a priestess. Truly? Hmm, you've got a good eye. Though a bit off in this case. I'm neither a priestess nor a novice. I escaped a pirate ship, was wounded. That's why I'm here. Sisters Astrid and Dala found me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. Quite the adventure. Got a home to go back to, or will you stay here? I've a brother in Ardskellig. He's surely mad with grief searching for me. Once I'm better, all better, I'll find a longship and head home. So long. Why does the goddess bring you here? Brought myself here, seems to me. You do not worship Freya. No, but I respect those that do, including her priestesses. This does you credit, but is meaningless as well. For Freya rewards and punishes those of other faiths and infidels as she does her own. Worship her and it will help, though it will settle nothing. What do you need? Tell me something about this temple, could you? It happened once that Freya lost her favorite white cat. She scoured the aisles and finally found him here. Freya's heart filled with joy and she blessed this place. A temple was then established here. Didn't know Freya was into cats? <sighs> Your ignorance speaks poorly of you. The white cat is the goddess's sacred animal and has deep symbolic significance. This temple is for those who seek Freya's help in finding what they desperately seek. Perhaps even you shall experience her grace. Scorn her not, or have you friends so powerful that you can afford to spurn divine aid? Farewell. You who grant us greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg. Got a few more questions. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Ulva cast the curse. Mm -hmm, so you said. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what, who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvjall, to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. Might have already run into this Morkvarg. He a werewolf? I know not. I... I'm afraid I've never seen him. Shame, that. Was hoping you could tell me more about him, help me with my work. You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, 
Provided he's not at sea. Farewell. The Goddess protect you from all evil. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. No! Have you not done Freya, evil enough? Seek adventure Freya, elsewhere. Grant you who grant us prayer. love, hatred, <sighs> and strength. <sighs> Oh, Freya, my like plan. it here. Freya, grant my plea. What well, was it happened to Faltus again? <laughs> this one still grew like a lad. Great deal. When you're gripping a pair of pincers or white hot tongs. Hello there. Pawning or buying? Morkvarg sends his regards. Here. Anyone asks, I don't know him. Never laid eyes on him. 